Hello! Hi! This is Trinity from Monogram International Inc. here with another blind bag review video. This is for our F-R-I-E-N-D-S Friends television series Figural Bag Clip Collection. Not to be confused with our Disney series Best Friends, the Best Friends theme. This is different. This is Friends the TV show, which I'm really excited for because it's just so different. It's really different from what we've usually done. You can see we're kind of getting getting into more of the um, live action television, which is really interesting. So in this video, I'm going to give you a close up, uh, you know, a closer look at all 11 of the different bag clips in this collection. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll have a little bit of chit chat. So let's get started. Okay, so we have our little display out so we can just rack up all the characters. And for our first blind bag, I have Joey. Isn't he so cute and lovable and just silly? It's so nice to just, you know, take life on like Joey does, just day by day. Just trying to have fun, eat some pizza, have a good time. I would definitely wear this outfit on like a nice summer day in New York City. I'm not sure, is it a, is it a leather vest? I mean, I wouldn't wear real leather, but I'd wear, you know, a nice quality pleather or perhaps a, um, a PVC. <laughs> anyway, so it's very cute. I love the colors, the color of the jeans. And I just love the way that they captured his hairstyle, his side part, and you know, he has a little bit of hair in his face. He's just a well-meaning guy and a lot of fun. Who's you guys' favorite Friends character? Oh, before I move on, I just wanted to compliment the graphic design and just the style of this blind bag. I love this orangish color in the back, very glossy, and I like the use of the the typeface, that sort of New York City Central Park Cafe kind of style. I like it a lot. Anyway, moving on, the next character we have is Phoebe's Phoebe. Here's another outfit that I would I would wear. I mean, I don't usually wear. I mean, enough about me, but I probably wouldn't wear a, a long dress like that. I'm already short as I am, so it's more suitable for taller people like like Lisa Kudrow. I love the hair. Can we just admire the way that they rendered the quality of her haircut and the texture? The way that they have... Look at her roots there. That's so interesting. And it's so true to the character. I like her eyebrows. She also looks very well-meaning. She has eyebrows, but Joey does not. I don't know why, because Joey definitely has eyebrows. Definitely. So I'm not sure how he lost his eyebrows in the uh, design process, but I think he still looks good. Here's the back view of Phoebe. She's so cute. I love that she's wearing a vest. So vests are a thing that's very true to life of late 90s, but that's coming back. And it's just, it's such a trip that like late 90s, early 2000s is being treated with like such nostalgia now. and. It seems like just yesterday, that was the times, you know? It was Y2K, baby. That was my my first username. It was like something, baby bubbles Y2K. Anyway, a lot of time has passed and a lot has changed, but we still love our vests. All right, next I have, this doesn't feel like a character. This feels like a logo. Here we have a Central Perk logo. Oh, this is the back view because it has the, the copy on it. You can see manufacturing by MII, that's Monogram International Inc. This is Warner Brothers Entertainment Inc. 
is what that little fine print says. So here's the front view of the Central Perk logo. I love the quality of this. I really like how these um these kind of logo keychains are coming out. They look really good. You can see it's 3D. Has some 3D accents to it. It just looks so good. I'll put this in the center for now. Looks good. Next we have Monica. Wow, I love that dress. You guys, you have to take note of the detail in that. You see the little, little cross patterns? Those are actually casted into, or casted out. I don't really know that, I forget, it's been so long since I took mold making, but what do you call it, like the relief? But the negative, well it was the positive in the mold, but now it's a negative in the cast form, this 3D form. Anyway, you can see that they put detail in that, that that isn't just printed on, that is part of the sculpt. And then let's also admire her hair. It's like, I can tell this is Courtney Cox. I could just see this and be like, that's Courtney. The way that they captured her hair, because, you know, Courtney Cox has that nice volume to her hair. I feel like that's captured really well here. And then I just love how you can see that her cardigan is slipping off of her left shoulder a bit. I like that. That's a really nice detail there. And then here's the back view. Not as much to see there but very cute, very, very cute. I'll put Monica up here. I love that, I love her hair, it's great. Next we have Ross, okay. Wow, is he wearing Timberlands? Look at his shoes. They're like these nice um, yellow uh, goldenrod color tint with um, thick soles. Very interesting. And then he's wearing kind of a, a working man's shirt with an undershirt. And it really captures, look at the way that they captured his hair. Um, what did, they called it in the, the late 90s, the Caesar haircut. It was a popular among some, you know, brunette movie stars like George Clooney. But uh, Ross is also another culprit of the Caesar haircut. It works for some, not for all, I have to say. Uh, here's the back view of Ross. I have to be honest, I don't care for Ross. Oh, I don't really care for him as a character. I know he's has a lot of funny points to him, but I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way. All right, and next we have Rachel. <laughs> oh my gosh. This collection's killing me, the way that they rendered the hair. It's like I can really, she really has the Rachel haircut. You can see the layers are captured. And then look, she's wearing this, I believe that's a paisley dress. Or was it floral? It may have been floral, but it's reading as paisley here, at least to me. And then, oh my gosh, the shoes, the shoes. Are you seeing that? It's kind of hard because there's like a shadow underneath the skirt, but she's wearing those like, not Tevas, but those like fourth grade teacher's shoes. Ugh, what do you call those? Those sandals that are like strappy <laughs> and they have a bunch of cutouts. I can't think of the name, but anyway, she's rocking them. Each character's eyebrows are like higher than the previous. So Phoebe's eyebrows are a little, downward and then Monica's are like midway and then Rachel's are like up there they're up there which is interesting because I would have thought that based on their um their attitudes I would think that Phoebe would have the higher eyebrows I don't know who am I to say all right, so next we have 
Chandler. And he too is wearing a vest. And look at his hair. It looks kind of toupee-ish. His eyebrows are also like frowny faces and very high. But wow, look at that hair, such volume. And you can see his rolled up sleeves. I'd also wear this, it's very like Western chill vibes, kind of cowboy vibes, love it. I bet those are like 501 Levi's. I just love the reoccurrence of the vest in this collection. I know that this is their outfits is based on the um is it the title sequence or it's one of those really popular um images of the characters so this is our series one so it's kind of like the introduction of the characters okay next we have the couch okay so this is definitely based on the opening sequence because isn't there like a couch outdoors at night it's very impractical but it's vibey it's very like we're fa friends we're crazy we do what we want kind of vibes but just look at the the details in the, the upholstery of this little plastic sofa there's just some things that don't need explaining like yes I have a keychain that's a sofa it happens if you don't get the reference move on you're not cool enough but yes the sofa is very interesting love all the details there's a side view another side view back view looks great there's just something so surreal about having a a sofa a, as a keychain it happens Next we have Gunther. Wow, look at how pure white his hair is. It's like freshly fallen snow and it's just so incredibly harsh against this lime green shirt. Wow. Was Gunther a fashion icon or what? Great hairline and the tie. You see the striped tie there? Great details. And then you can see, is he wearing? Oh, I thought he was wearing an apron, but those are his pants. Apparently those are his pants. And then here's the back view. Gunther, he's cray cray. Maybe I should put Gunther next to the Central Perk logo cause he's the, he's the manager, right? I heard he runs that place, so there's significance there. So here we have nine. Now we just need to find two more. Ah, next we have Marcel, the white faced capuchin monkey. This is Ross's monkey. Please excuse the background noise. It seems that there's a little bit of a conference call going on in the office next door, and it's a little loud. Sorry about that. Let's get back to Marcel. So cute. I love the way that they rendered the fluffiness of his fur. And then he looks like he's doing some sort of interesting dance move. You can see the way that his arms are positioned. It's almost like a hula of some kind. Here's the back view of Marcel. Love that little tail. So cute. So perhaps... Marcel goes next to Ross, because that's his monkey. And look, they're like about the same height. How bizarre. All right, the one that's left, I know it's probably, no, it's not that. It has to be a flat one. 
I think it's this one. I could be wrong, I could be right. Ah, I was right. So the last bag clip is this photo frame. And you can actually I think you can put pictures in it. Yeah, look. Oh, how nice, it's functional. So at the, wow. Look how big this ring is. Usually our, yeah, our bag clips aren't, the rings, oh, I see. The ring is big because you can, you can take it off. There's this loop, this, um, what do you call that? Yeah, so you can take it off and then you can open it so you can slide in, slide your picture in there. That's so neat. Love that. So this actually has a removable bag clip. Maybe we can do that with all of them. Wow, that's really neat. I'm just gonna leave that off because it's hard to put back on. Wow. I'll put the frame there and I'll put Wow, this is the Friends TV series blind bag collection. It looks so good. I have to, you know, give my respects to whoever, you know, rendered the hair, designed the hair. They did a good job of, you know, keeping on brand with each of the characters. Because hair is so important to, like, capturing the personality of the character, their essence, what role they play in the ensemble is really cool and i like this little couch it's very unique i mean where else are you gonna get a bag clip the shape of a couch fully rendered in 3d it's it's really something else so this collection it's gonna be all over the place people are super excited for our friends blind bags They'll be available at Hot Topic and definitely Box Lunch and a lot of our other great retailers near you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. I'm, we've been getting a lot of new followers on Instagram, which is really great. And we just want everyone to know our name, Monogram. We're out here. We're proud. We're loud. And we keep making these bag clips. We'll come up with something else to turn into a 3D bag clip. There's so many things in this world. <laughs> so, as I said before, thanks so much for watching. And have a great day. Bye.